Here we have four different close-ups. We have a times one, times two, a times four, and a times 10, which will allow us to get some really good depth of field shots once we get it all hooked up. I always like to go out and shoot. I have two lenses on the camera all times. My UV protector and an ND filter of some kind. Right now this is a ND9, so it's like a 0.9 ND filter, which really helps uh, bring down the colors and when you're going out and about, kind of like sunglasses for your camera, more or less. But it's a Okay, so after walking around for a few minutes, I kind of came back to where I started and right in front of my eyes, I didn't even know it, was something pretty cool to see. And right now you can't see it, but in front of us, there's a tiny bit of life just kind of hanging around colors. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the focus into the snail and see what it'll do. Now you can see the snail is climbing up the leaf here in the left corner. The wind's blowing a little bit. He's hanging on, enjoying himself. But I'm right up on him, and I want to bring out more detail, but I'm afraid I can't because I can't get any closer to him. Now I'm going to add the one-time lens and see what it'll look like. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, a little mist out, and we have the one-time lens on them. This is a 37 millimeter one-times close-up, and the wind is blowing. I actually bumped that. Let me go ahead and slow him down. He's probably getting dizzy. But you can see here, I'm about an inch away from him, not too much further than I was before without the one-times close-up. And I'd really like to get close on him, but I don't want to zoom in. I want to avoid zooming in as much as possible. And you want to zoom in with your feet, kind of just get the camera as close as you can. Now, if I do zoom in, this is what it'll look like. This shot is at half zoom, same distance as the last shot. But you can see the depth of field is so much more shallow. The leaf is pretty much in focus right up front there. And his shell's in focus, but yet his eyes... As you can see here, and that's about six inches away from his face, actually. But his eyes aren't in focus. The back of his shell kind of is. In this shot, we have the four times close-up lens on. We're about maybe three and a half inches away from the our little guy hanging out on this leaf here, girl. Can't really tell what they are until they... Well, actually, they're hermaphrodites to start off with. But anyways... You can see here, we are now focused back here. I'm gonna roll the focus onto our snail hanging out on a leaf. And you can see nothing's changed, but our depth of field is still really shallow. We are all the way zoomed out, but yet we're getting a now shallower depth of field with this higher close-up lens, which is really nice. We are now entirely zoomed in. The leaf, you can see, is just gently blowing in the breeze here, but it looks really, really abrupt because we're so close. And there he is just kind of hanging out on the leaf there. 